going to show you how to wear graphic eyeliner in three different ways. From this very fun, bold, and funky look to more of a daytime, mid-everyday wear. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this and the rest, please keep watching. First, I'm going in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Barcelona. Next, I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Medium 2 or Ginger. I'm using this concealer to cover any areas that need concealing and also as a base for my eyeshadow. I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender to blend everything in place. I'm using my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the color Truffle for my contour. I normally use an L shape to contour my forehead and my cheekbones. I also love to contour the sides of my chin and my nose just to achieve a more of a sharper look. And again, I'm blending all of this in with my damp beauty blender. Now to set everything in place, I'm using my MAC Studio Fix High Definition Powder in NC40 for the highlighted areas and my NYX Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Pro Palette to set my contour. Instead of using a blush, I'm actually going in with my Bronze Goddess Powder in 04 Deep by Estee Lauder to bring some warmness and glow to the face. And I absolutely love how well this bronzer complements my contour. For my eyes, I'm using my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I'm first going in with the shade Desert Sand for my base and centering the shade Musk on the natural crease of my eyes. For my lips, I'm using the MAC Lip Liner in Boldly Bare and the Fenty Beauty MAC Moselle Lipstick in the color Single. For my normal makeup routine, I actually like doing my lips last as I never know what color to pick, but for some reason here, I decided to do my lips first. And now comes the fun part. For the first eyeliner look, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. Once I figured out the placement, I start drawing a line at the bottom and then at the top, connecting both the lines, forming a sharp tail at the end, and then finally filling them in. I kept the focus of this eyeliner on the outer parts of the eyes for some drama and to help achieve that very sleek and sharp look. Now to complete the eyes, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. If you want, you can leave the eyes like this, but I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Lashes and Camille for some extra drama and just to tie the look together. Next, to brighten up the eyes, I'm using my Huda Beauty 3D Highlight Palette in Golden Sands in the inner corners of the eyes. I'm also using this palette to highlight my cheekbones and any other areas where the sun would naturally hit. I decided to change my lips from matte to glossy by using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I absolutely love how the glossy lips bring the entire look together. For the second eyeliner look, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Vivid Brights Liquid Liner in the color Vivid Halo and I'm just tracing the top of the black eyeliner that we already have in place. For the final and the third look, I'm going in with the same NYX Cosmetics Vivid Brights liquid liner and this time I'm carving up the natural crease of my eyes and the result is this very fun and funky graphic eyeliner look. finished looks I really hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and hopefully some of you guys will be trying out what I showed you today if you'd like to see more from me and my work please follow me on my personal Instagram account at Jasmine otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video until then take care